What's up, everyone? This is Nate, and I am back with another Out of the Theater review. And this week, I went to see the latest from A24. There's a movie called Priscilla, about Priscilla Presley, written and directed by Sofia Coppola. So I'm going to go ahead and give you my thoughts on this movie in just a second. But before I do, if you would, please consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already. Hit the bell icon. That way you get notified every time new videos drop. And give me a thumbs up down below if you're looking forward to this film. Or if you're not looking forward to this film, but you like out of the theater reviews, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment as well. If you saw it, what did you think? Okay, I will start off by saying that I'm not a big Sofia Coppola fan. I can't think of one movie that she did that I really loved. I thought her version of The Beguiled was okay. I didn't really like The Bling Ring. I, those might be the only two movies I've seen. So I don't seek out her films, but I'm, she's talented uh, from what I saw in this movie. But really, this movie is... A very quiet, a lot quieter than I thought it was going to be. Although I should have known it was going to be that way just from those two movies that I did see from Sofia Coppola. Anyway, Priscilla Presley, this is the story of her relationship with Elvis. It really is just that. It doesn't venture into too many other territories other than her meeting, falling in love with, and being married to Elvis and that's about it. It doesn't, you know, you get a little bit of her family at the beginning and then at the end of the movie, it's pretty much the end of their sort of relationship and then the movie ends. So that's where it's focused. I will say the movie shot very well, looks very great. I, I thought it was, the cinematography was great, kind of soft looking, but it looks old. You know, this movie set in the 60s, mostly in the 60s, and then it goes into the early 70s. So shot very well, great music choices, obviously lots of great songs to pick from, a lot of 60s music and things like that. I thought that was very good. And I think the main strength though is the performance performances. The acting in this movie is very good. I think her name is Kaylee Spaney. I don't really know how to pronounce it. We'll just call her Kaylee. She plays Priscilla and she plays her from a teenager to adult and she's fantastic. She is fantastic. I would not be surprised. I think a Golden Globe nomination, definitely. Uh, Oscar, possibly. She is that good in this movie. She shows a wide range from, like I said, from being young and, and even just the makeup. Like she even looks different, like very different as the movie's going on. By the end of the movie, I was like this the same girl, like she looks a lot different. So great job. But I thought her performance was fantastic. And Jacob Elordi, who plays Elvis in this. Well, I thought he was great. I know Austin Butler got all this praise and he got the Oscar nomination and his was a much more flamboyant. This was kind of a more low key performance but i thought he did a really great job it's not super flattering to him all the time but apparently this is based off of the book that priscilla presley wrote like autobiography or my time with elvis or something like that and she was a producer on it i'm gonna assume this is very accurate to what happened in real life and you know no one's perfect but uh, there were moments where i thought they were going to make him look potentially like oh this is kind of creepier this guy could be and he wasn't i don't think he was awful he was flawed as our as is everybody really and i thought the movie did a good job of showing that without like over going overboard with it and for her part um i don't think they went overboard in any in any aspect either like she's pretty she's just a straightforward it doesn't get into like melodrama or soap opera territory it really doesn't so i appreciated that other than that though this is not a movie that i would like rewatch i don't think it has a lot of replay value it is a Pretty, very, uh, I should say, a very well-made, well-acted, well-directed biopic, but it doesn't have that sort of, like, big energy. It's very kind of low energy throughout most of the movie, and so, you know, it, I wouldn't say it was boring, but I definitely would say it is low energy. That's just my opinion, and I didn't really connect to, uh, you know, like as much as I thought I might. So I don't know, maybe that was just me, but I do think it's good. I'm not gonna knock the movie for that. That's more just like a personal thing. I thought it was very well made, very good. It's a very good movie. I definitely recommend it, especially if you like biopics. I will give it an eight out of 10. I do think it is worth your viewing. I think it's gonna get some awards love come next year. We'll see, but not my favorite kind of movie and not something I see myself rewatching in the future. Anyway, that is my review for Priscilla. Next week, I will be back with another after review for the Marvels, the MCU's latest, latest and greatest or latest dumpster fire. I don't know. We'll find out until then. Take it easy.